Well, let's get the latest now from France 24's Stephanie Vandenberg, who's at The Hague for us. Uh, Stephanie, what kind of a start did this uh, trial get off to? Well, it was, uh, it was this kind of slow start because before the prosecutor could even start with her opening statement, the defense uh, put forward a motion saying that their client was unfit to stand trial because he had mental health issue related to post-traumatic stress disorder, which they say he got when he was held in uh, jail in Mali before coming to this court. So there was a lot of procedural back and forth. Uh, to uh, adjust uh, that motion. Then the judges uh, ordered that he should be examined by a doctor to see if he's indeed fit to stand trial, but they ordered that the trial could go forward in any case. And uh, Al-Hassan was asked to enter pleas to all the 13 counts against him, but basically refused to do that and said to every time they asked him, do you uh, plead guilty or not guilty? He said, I can't answer the question. So, so that was kind of a, a, a stilted start to the trial. OK, and just tell us uh, briefly exactly what Al-Hassan Abdulaziz is accused of having done. Well, the prosecution says that he's responsible for war crimes, including torture, rape, uh, sexual violence, forced marriage and the destruction of shrines in Timbuktu. What they say is that he was a central figure of the Islamist rebels that took over the town because he was the de facto police commissioner for the Islamist police and that he, in fact, was responsible for meeting out very harsh and cruel punishments against people perceived to kind of uh, break the strict religious laws that the Islamist rebels uh, wanted to impose on Timbuktu. OK, well, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed. Uh, France 24's Stephanie Vandenberg at The Hague. Thank you so much.